loves, welcome or welcome back. I'm Melanie Kate Love and thank you so much for joining me here for another spiritual reading. These have become like a fortnightly occurrence on my channel and I love making them for you. So I hope they help you on your journey to become your greatest version. So today we're gonna to be doing a full moon reading that is occurring on June 9th or 10th, depending on where you are in the world. And it's going to be a full moon in Sagittarius. Now I was actually doing some research about this, looking to the astrology to see what was coming up. Oh my goodness, it is a fantastic energy, depending on where you are in your journey. Let me just read you this quick little clip from um, Astrology King. So he says, the full moon in June, um, the astrology indicates a turning point or mini crisis involving your relationship or finances. The June 2017 full moon continues a process of transformation you started in the last two weeks. This is a full moon to transform and heal the devastating pain from illness, broken hearts, broken homes, and runaway financial debt. Powerful, right? So let's see what our angels can give us some guidance and clarity to see how we can best deal with this energy. Because when I read that, I was like, Okay, <laughs> let's see what comes up. Anyways, my loves. So we've got the Dorian Virtue Oracle um, Angel Cards. Shuffle these and let's see what comes up. Remember, this is a general reading, so just take from what feels right for you. There'll be something that will stick in your subconscious mind by the end of this video, and that's your message for today. Okay, angels. Clarity for our beautiful MK Love fam. For the full moon occurring in Sagittarius on June 9th. Or 10. Okay. Shower of Abundance. We haven't had this card for a while, and this one is actually on my vision board if you check out my Law of Attraction video or my top 10. Shower of Abundance. Ooh, this one links in with what I was just talking about. To heal your financial situation, first give us your worries and concerns with money. We will guide you in order to show you how to create and accept abundance. We will work together. Your financial situation will heal as fast as you allow it. That's an interesting one, isn't it? As fast as you allow it. It's like what resistance or blockages do you have regarding your finance? Okay, let's get some... I feel like I need to get another one from that deck. Let's just see what else comes up. Universe, can we have um, guidance on Shower of Abundance by MK Love? Okay, that one came up straight away. Focus on service. So what do you love doing? What makes your heart shine? What makes you feel good? Don't get wrapped up in the thought and the process of how things are going. You don't need to work out how it's going to happen. Just focus on what you want and the universe will take care of the details. Let's see what it says. Your soul desires only a joyful serve, only to joyfully serve and to swim in a constant stream of bliss. Yes, that is so true. The stream continuously feeds you everything you need. Put your entire focus upon staying in this stream of giving and receiving in every situation and all that you do. What makes you feel good? Go back to my video, my self-love practices. What makes you feel good? If you're doing the things that you, that you love, you're vibrating on the frequency of love. And maybe you need to watch my video um, how to release emotional and physical blockages if something has come up to stop you flowing in this beautiful stream. That's actually really nice. This is a good reading. I like it. It's got a good vibe so far. Okay, so now I'm going to show you my Archangel Raphael Healing um, Oracle Cards by Doreen Virtue. These are like my new addition to the family and I just love them. So let's get some clarity because um, when I looked at the astrology, it was saying that this is a time to transform and heal. Healing cards, let's see what area that fits into. You ready? I'm nervous with this one. I wonder what it's going to say for you guys. Or us in general as a family. Okay, universe, can we have some guidance? What area? We've got shower of abundance and focus on service. So what area of service do we need to focus on? The light keeps shifting. I normally don't film at this time of the day. All right. Yeah. It's not jumping out today. So maybe this is more of a subtle energy. Maybe this problem isn't as big as you think it is. Let's just see what comes up. That one. 
have second opinion. I've never pulled this card before. Can you see that? Okay, let's see what it says. Dear God and Archangel Raphael, guide me to the best healthcare professionals for this situation. Okay, so your diet, you've been neglecting your diet. There's been something, there's a change in what you're eating, or maybe there's an illness that has manifested because of a blockage that you've had in your body. Let's get some clarity from this little book. Second opinion. I'm gonna pull this one. Okay, ready? I love story time. Archangel Raphael has heard your prayers and is guiding you to talk with other health professionals to get second, third, or even fourth opinions. This Archangel is letting you know that the opinions and alternatives are available to you or the person that you are actually inquiring about. This situation may require more than one health professional working in conjunction with each other. So it isn't necessary to indicate. So it isn't necessary an indication to change doors unless you're already been receiving that message from your own intuition and experiences. But this card validates your urges to take matters into your own hands and become your own authority figure with respect to your health concerns. Dude, I've made a whole playlist called How Not to Die, which talks about the latest in evidence-based nutrition. Actually, I'm going to make you a follow-up video and give you an insight into what I eat for breakfast and how that fits in with Dr. Michael Greger's um, Daily Dozen, because I know there's a lot of newbies out there. Okay. Possible meanings. Select a healthcare professional you feel comfortable and instinctively trust. Research this health topic and take matters into your own hands. Get a third or fourth opinion until you are satisfied with your answers. Today's prayer is... Dear God, Universe, Divine, Buddha, whatever you want to call it, and Archangel Raphael, guide me to the best healthcare professionals for this situation. That's very interesting. I love that. But I would definitely make you a follow-up video. I'll film it today, actually. Um, yeah. That's interesting. I really like that. I want another card from this deck. I really like it. Do you want another one? Yes, okay. <laughs> Okay, second opinion. Can we have more clarity on that one in regards to our health? Because there was two cards that came up, but I only took the first one. That one? Caffeine free. Okay, caffeine free. This one's come up for me quite a lot. That's why I'm now drinking peppermint tea today. I've been trying, okay, anyway, let's not talk about me, let's talk about you. <laughs> Dear Archangel Raphael, I ask that you cut my cords of attachment to caffeine so that I may honor my body's natural energy rhythms without chemicals. Okay. Because I find that for me, when my body is pure and I'm eating the right foods, um, I have an issue with sugar in my tea, that's why I'm trying to drink more. Um, herbal teas I find that they start to cloud my judgment and I do it as like a comforting nurturing mechanism it's like a cuddle in a cup <laughs> okay let's get more clarity where is this reading going today okay so now we have a numerology deck by Michelle Backham let's see what she's got to say what numbers? When I was actually shuffling these ones today, um, 99 came up, which was the health card. So let's just see what comes up today. Okay, this one. Spiritual career. What? We're all spiritual, but not everyone is spiritually inclined. I don't understand where that will come up. 78. Numerology of six. Mm-hmm. This is tripping me out. I don't get it. Are you sure? I don't think so. All right, let's just read what it says anyway. This card indicates an opportunity to embark upon a career in the body, mind, spirit arena. Okay. This card could be full or part time. No. I don't know. Let me just. I feel like this card is for me, not for you, because I didn't 
specify this poor MK love fan, but the angels knew that I was reading for you. Let me just keep going. You may already have the credentials to begin your work now, or you may require further study before you're ready to start. Whatever your situation, this card is confirmation that you have genuine talents and abilities that need to be put to good use. You may decide to work as a clairvoyant, which means that you can hear messages, a life coach, homopath, or healer, and see clients from your home, or try your hand at being a card reader, numerologist, or astrologer, to your local mind, body, spirit fair. You may choose to be a writer of inspirational books or blogs or conduct workshops in the community regarding of what you do. And however big or small your scheme, you may turn it into career with the potential for great success. In order to improve your current situation, you have been asked to adjust to and harmonize with the natural rhythms and cycles of your life. Cycles that are leading you to embark upon a spiritual career. Only you know when it's the right time, but no matter what, you must believe you will succeed. Remove your limiting beliefs that are preventing you from moving forward. Release your anxieties and trust in the divine. When you focus on being of service rather than your worries, doubts, and fears, the universe will send you opportunities to serve. Affirmation. I serve the greater good and I'm given all that I need. Well, maybe that is the service that you are focusing on. Maybe you guys are all spiritual junkies like me because you love these types of videos. That's so interesting. I find that very interesting. I'm a little bit like scattered with this reading. I, I, I need more clarity, okay. Let's go on to the um, the Angel Tarot by Doreen Virtue, and if I don't get enough, if I don't, I don't feel like this reading has come full circle yet. I feel like we're missing some pieces. So if I don't get enough information, I'll go back to another deck. Okay, can we have some clarity, please, angels? Because I'm a little bit confused. I think the spiritual career card threw me, but we need some help, please. Uh, oh, oh, okay, hold your horses. Okay, so we had two cards that come out. What is this one? Three, the Empress, Archangel Gabriel. Lavish abundance, give birth to your dreams, nurture yourself and others. Three is the Trinity. The Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Okay. It's a major arcana card, so this is a very powerful one. Lavish abundance, which fits into this. We have two abundance cards and two service cards, so the universe is confirming that those two are right. What? I need... An, an... Maybe because I haven't done these readings for a while, I'm feeling a bit like, is this right? And I'm second-guessing myself. All right, let's just see what number three says. The Empress, oh, the lighting is constantly changing today. Your creativity and hard work are bringing you great rewards, according to this card. You have the Midas touch right now, so anything you nurture and give your loving intention to will flourish. Marriage, children's issues involving motherhood and creativity are positively affected now. Whether you're trying to give birth to a child, nurture life into plants or pets, or help a new project or business to grow, your creative endeavors will be successful. Okay, all right. Enjoy the beautiful things in life, knowing that you deserve to be wonderfully provided for. Take excellent care of your body with massage, yoga, or anything that makes you feel healthy, vibrant, and luxurious. Additional meanings. What is happening? Lighting. See, I'm filming at 10.30 in the morning and I normally film at 11.30 when the lighting is a bit more constant. Apologies, guys. Additional meanings, abundance. That's three times we've mentioned abundance in this card. Spending time in nature, indulging in creative or artistic projects, loving and nurturing yourself or others, a time of excellent emotional or physical health. Archangel Gabriel is the messenger angel who guides and supports expectant and adoptive parents, as well as those involved in newborn creative projects. Call upon Gabriel to inspire your creative ideas and give you the courage and the opportunities to express them. 
Express yourself. Okay, we've got another card that fell out too. Five of Earth. Can you see that? Okay. Fear surrounding money. The wisdom to accept help from others. Uncertain self-employment. I'm not getting hardly anything from this card. But five is like massive, like five is like massive transformation, which fits in with our astrology part of it, where it's like time to transform and heal. So we need to heal ourselves so we can then transform, so we can receive a shower of abundance, which is coming from our service or endeavors or whatever truly makes us happy. And in order to get there, we need to be caffeine free. That's what I'm getting so far, but I'm, I need more help. I don't, this is such an odd reading. I feel like we've just been like fully scattered or something. Okay, five of earth. Earth, earth, earth. Where do you go, my lovely? I can't think other oh, Four, five, okay. You're too focused upon what you don't have. A mentality of lack is creating a lack reality through the law of attraction. <laughs> okay. What am I so dark for? Wow. Help to close by. What? Help is, oh, help is close by, but your permission. Okay, let's read that one again, shall we? Five of Earth, you're too focused upon what you don't have. A mentality of lack is actually creating a lack reality through the law of attraction. Help is close by, but your pessimism is preventing you from recognizing it. It's time to reassess your thoughts and words you use and your belief about money. Stop complaining and accept the assistance that's offered. Fortunately, matters are going to improve and your unpleasant feelings are only temporary. In the meantime, it's important that you care for your physical and emotional health. Additional meanings. Uncertain self-employment, financial downturns, Unsuccessful legal battles. Well, that is just depressing. I need a card to make me feel good. I don't feel good from this. I've been told to pick this card. Okay, right, the magician. <laughs> One. You are ready. You have the resources or the ability to manifest them. Life is magical. <laughs> okay, so I don't need to, because I, I felt a bit like worried in this reading and I was like, Am I saying the right things? But I've had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cards for you. You can't get any better than a magician, really. Crazy, 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 crazy. This card signals that it is the right time to begin new projects. If you had any doubts about your abilities to manifest your dreams, leave them behind. In fact, the more self-confidence you have, the more success you experience. Fortunately, the angels can boost your inner strength if you call upon them for help. Although you may not feel ready to move forward upon your path, you're actually more prepared than you realize. Your life experiences have trained you for this moment and the opportunities available to you at this time are magical. It's not necessary to take any more classes or read any more books, which would only delay you from walking through the doors that presently open for you. Take focus action with respect to your plans you may have been preparing for. No more pro procrastination, magical occurrences, concentrated efforts, unexpected resources. So everything's gonna work out. Everything is working out for me. I, that's on my, I think that's on my, let me just open my computer. Where's my um, vision board? Close, close, close. Yeah, things are always working out for me. It's on my vision board. How do you guys feel? Can you comment below and let me know what came up for you for, for this reading? Let's just recap, shall we? It's been crazy. I'm just trying to 
organize all these cards. Um, it's that one, it was that one, it was that one. Okay, so we have two major arcana cards today. Okay, so we had shower of abundance. It's coming. The abundance is coming in whatever area you need it. You just need to focus on service, things that make you feel good. Now be mindful of what you're eating because it's going to affect your body and your mind and your soul. The angels have suggested you go caffeine free, so good luck with that one because that is that is something that I'm learning to get better at. It's really a better choice of words. This could be linked to a spiritual career using the body, mind, and soul connection, which is what I'm all about. Then we've got the Empress. What does she mean again? Lavish abundance. Not just abundance, we're talking lavish abundance. Giving birth to dreams. Nurture yourself and others. That was a beautiful card. Then we go on to Five of Earth. Fears surrounding money. So it's like, cut out your nonsense. It's going to be fine. Do you know why it's going to be fine? Because we got the one, the magician. Everything's working out. You're ready. You don't need to do any more study. Whatever you've been thinking about, everything is right for, su for, su for success. It's right in front of you. You just don't see it because you've been blinded um, by some distractions. Maybe you haven't got focused attention on what you want. I don't know. This is a bit... Let me know what you think. Such an interesting reading. I've never done a reading with this many cards for you guys. Let me know what you think. But this time is all about transformation and healing. So we're going to be having a, what did it say here? A turning point or mini crisis it's in relation to finances and relationships. So this, these cards kind of fit in with it. The relationship with yourself is the most important. You need to make sure that you're nourishing your body, your mind and soul. Go through my playlist, watch my Law of Attraction series, watch my video, self-love starts here go through my chakra meditation start programming your mind for success so you can vibrate on the frequency of love release any resistance to whatever is going on for you and lavish abundance awaits you so that's kind of nice i'm just going to choose one more cup i'm just going to do these ones because i feel most comfortable with my Angel cards. Just one more card. I know universe, you're like, what the hell? I've given you enough. But I just need one more. Okay. I see only love. Okay. Look past the seeming errors, mistakes, and misunderstandings and see only love within each person, including yourself. Your resolute focus upon the love that underlines every situation brings about healing in undreamed of ways. Okay. So it's like whatever you're going through, whatever situations, say I am where I am and it's okay. I choose to vibrate on the frequency of love. Everything is always working out for me. All is well. I feel like we need to have a meditation after this. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna leave it at that, my loves. Thank you so much for watching. Please comment below what came up for you in this reading because I find that it's going to be varied for every single one of you. I wanted to say a massive thank you for watching to the end of this video. I wanted to say how much I appreciate you and I love the support that you give me. I love when you like my videos, you comment, you subscribe and the most important that you share this message with other people because that is a truly beautiful gift and it's free. Anyways, my love, remember continue to make better choices, vibrate in the frequency of love, and I will see you in two weeks' time for the next spiritual reading. I love you so much. Goodbye!